Uh, hello everybody, is Alex PY1A HD. I would like to to let you know about my my new project. Is um, a small magnetic globe antenna to be used on the roof or here in my building. Okay, so first of all, let me let me show you a little bit where is my factory, where is uh, the place that my magnetic loops get out. Okay, where I spend my weekends and my holiday to to make my to make my my loop antenna so let let me show you here a little bit you know to know here is the water that I keep all the things here my parts in the Pinocchio you know here is the where the place that I I put all the parts that I have so uh, I have many stuff here on this place here and uh, now I have. Uh, Another look here. Uh, with all my hardware to develop my small magnetic loop antennas. So, here's a look. The 733. Uh, I have this one with the, the power supply, another part. My 725. It's here. Okay, and let me show you now uh, how I am uh, developing this uh, this new antenna. It's uh, I have used it for uh, outdoor function. I have have decided to use uh, a lamp, an infrared uh, security lamp that you can see on this part here. I take this for off here and uh, I have the motor I have the motor here let me show you the motor on the upper part I have the variable capacitor, it's a big one that I brought from Dayton on my last on, on Dayton, Dayton convention and here's the remote control the, the, the quite different thing on this one is the, that I use for, for very easy, I, I have, a, I am a very I have depended from uh, very easy things to, to in common things to use so I use this mouse here and I can I am let me open the box here to show inside here okay and uh, we have here the mouse and we have the, the same motor that I have uh, at the variable capacitor I have uh, exactly at the inside the box and you ask you why do you use this motor over there so this, this motor was developed to to give an indication about the frequency because anytime I, I, I send the tens of voltage for the motor on the uh, outdoor antenna I I activate this this, this motor so I have developed um, on a cheese and a cheese box, a plastic cheese box here, you know, I will uh, make a scale here. On this part, I make a scale. I will have a window here on the front panel, and I will can do this. I can show you here. Let me put here the capacitor at the zero point. Okay, I have here controlling. I have when I press left, right, and when I press the middle button on the middle, I have slow. Let me put this part here to be easier to understand. Here's a in a view of the control with motor. Let me put this here. So I'm putting here with the scale that that we have here. Okay. Let me put here on zero the variable capacitor okay and I'll put here to give an indication I have uh, anytime I, uh, I move this the variable capacitor goes the same way okay uh, complete turn in 10 seconds this is the high speed the high speed and I have here when I press the two buttons the low let me explain this is the high and the low you can see the capacitor let me give a little bit zoom here.
Okay, I think it's easy to see now. So I have here the the high and the low, the high and the low and the other direction. So I can find the peak rise here. Any time I fix the pink peak noisy, I go there and with the two buttons I make the fine turning. So this project is only on the beginning part and I spend to have it ready on the next month. Okay? So I I hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much. It's PY1AHD Alex.